WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. market update. And this Tuesday, the 16th of August, is seeing the Dow up 62 at 33,976. Now, I said to subscribers to my opening call that I anticipate that the 33,900s will be strong resistance going to 34,000. Will we see the 34,000s broached in the single leg up? has gone on for this is the third, fourth, fifth, fifth day since the gap up, and that since about the eighth or so of August. We'll see. This is spectacular because it's pushing away from the 200 period moving average for the first time, making the 33,100 to 33,000 really strong support and any very strong weakness. We're looking at S and P at this particular point, also up very nicely. Oh, it just turned down, down eight. At 42.88, and uh, yesterday's high of, I believe it was 42. I got that right there. Yeah, so yesterday's high of 42. No, it was 43.01.79. That's going to be important because there's a, an alternate count here. In the meantime, let's just say holding quite well after a fabulous five days. We're looking at the QQQ. Um, down 2.53 at 330.53. This is going to be very important because that is just a little bit above the 327 200 period exponential moving average, but has done very well up until now. IWM, the Russell 2000, also pulling back a dollar 50 at uh, 199.40. Uh, this is uh, 194 is key support this week, and we're looking at gold. Uh, gold was down earlier; it's still down seven points at 1790 after that peak D, fourth highest peak in the Chapman wave. Sees a pullback, and now it's a little bit under the 14 period moving average. And one of the reasons is that the dollar has shown quite nice strength. The sub 12 ticks at 106.67, um, up away from the uh, resistance level. So that makes 105 30 the near term support. Looking at crude oil, crude oil has just bounced off the 200 period moving average. It's up 30 cents at 89.71. That 200 period moving average has been the magnet for it for two weeks now. And the TLT, right now, the TLT is down. So yields are going up. Uh, TLT is down 98 cents. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few moments. Hope you can stay. And